Hello people of the internet, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Today, this is the release I have been waiting for for a long time because Wua are back. Now, Wua, ooh, my chair is all squeaky again. Uh, Wua, at the beginning of the year, dropped the immaculate, the glorious, the heavenly song that was Catch the Stars. Still, to this day, is up there for like girl group song of the year for me. It's such a good song. And you know, riding off that high, I really wanted to like their next comeback, Danger. I didn't. I really didn't like Danger all that much. It was, eh, it was like a could do without it, but I mean, sure, I'll playlist it kind of song. But we have a new comeback titled Roller Coaster. What is this going to sound like? I have no idea. I know some people are saying, will it be a Catch the Stars Part 2? And I'm really hoping it is because Catch the Stars is such a good song. It is a criminally underrated song. And frankly, I'm beyond excited to see what this is going to sound like. So let's, let's switch over to the big screen one time. Here we go. It's very colorful. Very pink. But... We have, oh, that's playback speed, English subs, and 4K. I'm ready. I'm really nervous, but I am very much ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Catchy beat so far. Very common chord sequence here, but this pre-chorus is good so far. Come on, chorus, don't let me down. Alright, it's a pass from me. Volume's down, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ooh. I've gotten so used to two-part courses these days that Forgot that most courses only are singular parts. I think the chord sequence here is the exact same as Twice's uh, most recent song. A very similar instrumentation as well. Two-part chorus, let's go! Bridge, come on. That was very cool. Run the coaster. 
Yes! Yes! This is the Wuwa that I love. Yes! I was really nervous about what would happen with Rua uh, after Danger because I know they've had they have two very distinct sounds because uh, I'll be I didn't, I haven't followed them since debut. It was Catch the Stars there that really hooked me on, but like there's songs previous to Catch the Stars was kind of like a more what I would call a heavier kind of more in your face sound. Danger was like reverting back to that, but this roller coaster genuinely is like Catch the Stars Part Two. It has this like youthful innocence and like happiness to it that's like oh, kind of indescribable. It's it's I think I'm gonna try and be musical about this breakdown, but it's the BPM of the song is not very fast. But it, that allows for the vocals and the instrumentation to kind of be air, like uh, happy and like useful. And the beat itself is fairly gentle. Like we'll go to the we'll lower the volume and we'll go to the chorus again. Like yes, there's the synth bass in the background, and you have a fairly like consistent percussion line. But the percussion line isn't too heavy, which I think works in advantage of making this song that like useful pop song, if that makes sense. And it's, hmm, where's the bridge? Is this the bridge? I will find it. There we go. So this is the second chorus, or the end of the second chorus. Lots of synth, lots of synth synth percussion and then a raw piano song yes this is probably a synthesized piano song but for the bridge to bring the energy down by bringing in standard acoustic piano building it up with that vocal top line and then bringing the synths back in for this final chorus is very clever Oh yes, oh yes, this is what I wanted, I am happy. We're off to a great start today, ladies and gentlemen, anyone in between. Ooh, boy. Do I like this more than Catch the Stars? Hmm. I don't know. Probably not, but it's pretty close. Catch the Stars is a very high mark to beat. It's like saying, okay, you're, sec you're second in class in, like, midterm exams or whatever. And the only way to beat it is to get a perfect score. And that's pretty much what Roller Coaster had to be to catch the stars. And it's pretty damn close. Ooh. I, re I really hope this is... I know this is selfish of me, but I love cutesy pop songs like this. I don't mind the heavy hitting ones, but I think there are more groups trying the harder hitting concepts that blew up using, like, or made it on people's radars because of the cutesy concept. The one example I can think of right now is Weekly. Like, their, uh, their initial three title tracks with, like, Zigzag, Tag Me, and... No, it's Tag Me, Zigzag, and After School. Those three songs were... Um, After School was a ridiculous song. Yes, it didn't get a win, but that's besides the point. After School was a stupendous song by Weekly. And even Holiday Party, in a sense, was... You know, like a continuation of that. It was a little bit toned down I guess like they were slow you could tell they were slowly breaking off the cutesy concept but they still had that cutesy side to them and then they released Vempara which was 
a complete stylistic 180 and sure the album sales were ridiculous like they sold a record number of albums for them but their traditional sound was gone like the sound that they had spent what 18 months or so just solidifying went out the window with Vampata and yes with Wu out I had him followed them from debut so they probably had like they debuted with a harder sound and then they just suddenly dropped Catch the Stars and I bet from OG Wuwa fans who enjoyed their debut stuff this is probably a step in the wrong direction for them but for me I love the direction this is going in so who knows who knows where they're gonna go next because they've gone in two directions multiple times so excited to see where they go because more new group music that's all i want anyways that's it for me today uh channel icons up there if you want to check out more from me uh subscribe to be, uh, keep up to date with whenever i upload new videos and if you want to watch another video of mine right away youtube recommends you watch that video down there and until next time bye bye